Cat Van Doo, our 2018 Mercedes Sprinter van that we self-converted into a tiny house on wheels. She's a four-wheel drive dually with a 170-inch wheelbase. She also has an extended cab. She runs on diesel, and we can't wait to show her to you. Welcome to our van. Come on in. So welcome to my favorite part of our van. This may look like a dining room, especially if we pull out this little table, because I'm sitting on a very comfortable little bench. There's another bench right across from us. But all I really need to do is take up some pillows, throw them here on the bed, take this little cushion right here, put it on top, and then I can close this short door back here. And when I close this door, I'm in a gigantic shower inside of our tiny house on wheels. This thing is fantastic. So I'll show you more of it in a little bit, but I wanted to show you that because it is definitely my favorite. every bit of storage space you can. So right here, we have a little hidden compartment where we keep kitty litter and stuff like that. And you don't even really know it's there, but it does not waste its space. On this side, still in our, you know, dining room slash area, if you move these two pillows and you lift this cushion, there is our sea head composting toilet, which I promise does not smell. So I'm in the middle of our van right now, and if you look to the back, we have a queen size foam mattress bed that's elevated. So underneath we have tons of great storage, especially from the back doors. Here we have our oven and underneath some pots and pans for our oven. Okay, so we added a pull out sliding table that comes out from underneath the bed, which I'll show you how that goes away in just a minute, but it has many uses. It makes a great desk because I'm sitting here on this nice cozy little bench with some pillows behind me. It's nice if it's nighttime. Got another one of those reading lights. Makes a good work area. It also makes a great place for someone to join you and sit over there and have dinner. Big enough for two dinner plates, which is nice. So the best part is it completely goes away, which is nice when you're living in 90 square feet. But when we climb back here, um, in the very back, we have two air conditioner vents that blow right on our head, so it's super easy to get the sleeping area cooled off really quickly, which is important on really hot summer days, especially when you're on some great beaches of the world. Up top, Kurt has built great storage. We've got clothes storage and computer storage and all sorts of stuff back here. Very accessible, very easy to get to. And I'm going to show you in just a second. It's also one of our favorite places for our kitties because it has two fantastic windows to look out. So here is a closer look of our bedroom area. And as promised, there's G-Money, one of our kitties, taking advantage of a wonderful view outside of our two bedroom windows. We have one on each side. Kurt built some built-in sliding doors we call the closet over here. And up top, we have great storage cabinets. There's some of my clothes. Kurt's are back there. And what's really neat is he's, he made them get smaller, more narrow as they got to the back. So where our head is when we're sleeping, we're not covered up with count cabinets. So that's pretty cool. One thing a lot of people don't think about when they're building a van is where do the dirty clothes go? So we slide this door open here, pull out one or two things, super easy, lift that up and in there, is our laundry chute that goes directly to a laundry basket that's stored in the garage under the bed. Up top over our bedroom area, we have a max air fan. It's covered with a thermal cover right now to help keep the heat from coming in because we're running the air right now. But that's really nice to create some circulation back here. We have two personal fans on each side of our bed, which also help. It keeps it really cool and comfy back here. 
In the front of the van, we have another Max Air Fan, which serves two purposes. One, it's right over the cooktop. So we can turn it where it's sucking air out and it helps get all the, you know, the cooking steam and stuff out of here. The other one is we will let that fan run pulling air out while we let the bedroom fan run pulling air in and it makes a nice just flow of really comfortable air throughout the van. On this side of the kitchen, there's our sink, is mainly our dishes and such up top, but also our mirrors because this kitchen sink also serves as where we brush our teeth and such. An induction cooktop, which is awesome. Here's all the light switches and the water pump switch and an extra plug. Very useful right as you walk in the door of the van. So washing dishes in a small little sink can be difficult, but you get the hang of it pretty quickly. See, little magnets for all of Kurt's spices. Here we have our refrigerator, which is tiny, but it does have a small freezer section up top that's separate and drawers for vegetables. Holds everything we need. Below it, a large drawer that uh, stores more food and such. Stuff we don't need to get to as often. And underneath, the not so glamorous litter box for our kitties. Lots of overhead storage in the front of the van. These are two cabinets that are over the couch, which serve as our pantry. See, and we added those shelves after the fact and they were game changers. We have so much more storage now. Notice our cute little kitty cat handles. We are cat people. So, see, and Kurt installed these great struts. Hold the cabinet doors up, which are awesome. Both seats in the front swivel around so they can become part of the living room. I only have one turned around right now, but they'll both turn around. It makes it where we can comfortably fit six people in our tiny home. So another really cool thing about our van that Kurt put in, nah, I had a little bit to do with this one. I really wanted the lagoon table. So we have this lagoon table frame that we, and we made this long rectangular tabletop for it. And we did that so, you know, we can have a table in between us when we're driving or we could point both chairs towards each other if we wanted to play a game of cards or something, if it was raining outside. We could also eat it as a dining room table. Um, but it moves and it'll move all sorts of ways. I mean, a lagoon table will do some really crazy things, you know, and you can make it just work for whatever you need it to work for. So what I've used it the most for is when we're editing our videos. It's perfect right here. So we love our lagoon table. Hi guys, welcome to the garage tour. As you can see up above, we have the bedroom and down below here is the garage. If you look off to my left, on the bottom here is my battery bank. I have eight 100 amp batteries for a total of 800 amp hours. Up on top, I have this nice pull out shelf. And if you look closely, you'll see in the top, I have some little tubs up here that store some cords, cat food, other things I need to get to quickly. I also have the wicker baskets on the side for clothes and other items. And this allows me to get to stuff without having to remove all the contents from the van. This shelf pulls out and this allows me to easily load the rad power bikes. In the back, you'll notice I've installed a couple little shelves. That allows me to maximize the little nooks and crannies in the back of the van for some additional storage. On the left, I have some power cords and I have uh, 110 volt. You can see my air conditioning ducts. I have my cooker, some whisker ba wicker baskets for storage, my carbon monoxide smoke detector, and additionally the laundry basket, which is where the laundry chute from the bedroom dumps into. You'll notice the solar panels are tilting down. That's up on top of the attic. I'll talk more about that later. But you'll see here as I fold up my rad electric power bikes, I pull the shelf out and set them up. We really love the rad power bikes. 
They, they go about 20 miles an hour. They offer pedal assist. And depending on how much we're pedaling or what the terrain is, we get about 20 miles or maybe an hour or two out of a battery charge. And so we can turn around and charge them right off our battery bank. And they've been really convenient and nice to have on the road. You'll also notice that as they fold up, I've built the bed at a height that allows for the uh, Rad Minis to slide into the van with just a little bit of adjusting and wiggling. I gotta be honest, it's pretty snug back here, but we have enough room for everything that we need. Additionally, I have over to the left, you see, a little fold-up table. That table's awesome. I cook breakfast on that. We pull that out of the back of the van. It pulls out real easy. I set my cooker on there or whatever else, and it makes for a great tabletop. I also have an electric blower, and you might think, why do I have that? We have an ironing that goes on the side of the, on the, on the van, and so it's nice to use that to clear out the, the floor or the ground beneath the awning. And also, if it's damp or wet, it helps us to dry out the awning before we put it up for storage. We have two huge chairs, and these fit a, barely fit in the van, make for a snug fit, but as you can see, we have room for everything as I finally put in the ladder that extends up to help me get on top of the attic. And last but not least, my tool bag. I have that in the back because unfortunately, I use that more than I'd like to. I'm putting down the screen, the, the bug nets here and sealing up the van. Now let's talk about the attic. Up top, I have 1,080 watts of solar. I have six panels that tilt to about 45 degrees. This allows me to get sun as early as 7.30 or 8 a.m. in the morning. I've had as much as 11 hours of solar during the day. This also acts as an access hatch to some light storage I have up on top of the van light clothes, a snowboard, things like that. Finally, it allows enough clearance for my Max Air fans to open up. They require about 10 inches, so we, can, with the solar panels closed, we can open the fans and get maximum circulation in the van. So the attic has worked out awesome for us. Hey, just wanted to say thank you for joining our van tour. We understand this van's not for everybody, but Snow and I have a 10 to 12 year plan that's gonna take us and our two kitties around the world. We'd love for you to join us on our journey. We'll keep you posted on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. So please hit the like button and subscribe and join us for more vi videos of our exciting journey.